Hey, welcome back. It's me, Snow. And in this video, we'll be talking about what you can do in the finals. As always, I'll give you an overview of the game structure. We'll talk specifically about gameplay mechanics and features. And finally, I'll give you some opinions based on my experience so that we can find out if this game is a must play for you. The Finals is a free-to-play, competitive, multiplayer, first-person shooter developed by Embark Studios and is available on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Set in a televised virtual combat game show, players form teams of three to compete to collect the most cash, with players utilizing their weapons, gadgets, and abilities against opposing teams to accomplish this. Each match takes place within an arena where almost everything is destructible. And players can choose between a handful of different game modes to play. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at those game modes now. The first one we'll talk about is called Quick Cash, which serves as the foundation for all other game modes. In Quick Cash, three teams with three players per team compete to collect $20,000. Within the arena, there are vaults containing cash that players can collect. Risk of being eliminated. Once collected, players must then deposit the cash at cash out locations. Cash out in progress. It takes around 20 seconds to open a vault and collect the cash, and two minutes to deposit it. Cash out in While depositing, teams must defend the area as rival teams can attempt to steal the deposit, which takes about five seconds to do that. And as stated previously, if your team is the first to secure $20,000 or have the most money when the time runs out, you win. Exhilarating match, but now our game is over. Now for a more competitive experience, you can play the tournament game mode. This game mode builds on quick cash and introduces a fourth team, along with more ways to earn money, like opening a vault or eliminating an entire team. Tournament mode also incorporates limited respawns via tokens and two additional rounds. So if your team is in first or second place at the end of a round, you qualify and move on to the next round until the remaining two teams face off in the final round. Okay, folks, it's the final round. And there's ranked tournament, which dials up the intensity even more. It's all over, folks. That's a wrap. Now, if you prefer a more casual game mode, you can play Bank It. Similar to Quick Cash, players collect cash from vaults and deposit it at cash out locations. However, in Bank It, teams play to $40,000 and you can earn money from eliminating enemies where all the money that they were holding gets dropped in the form of coins, which you can collect. Better not leave that unattended for too long. Also, depositing cash within the Bank It game mode only takes five seconds. So, if your team is the first to collect $40,000 or have the most money at the end of the round, you win. And as a side note, the devs will be adding more game modes in the future as they recently tested out the solo bank at game mode, Smoking Guns, and with Season 2, they introduced a 5v5 game mode. But now, let's move on from talking about the game's structure and talk about the gameplay and what you can actually do in it. Starting off with traversal, you can do basic movements like running, sprinting, jumping, sliding, crouching, climbing, and basic parkour like vaulting over objects and pulling yourself up. However, you can also do more advanced movements like ziplining horizontally and vertically, grapple hooking, taking lifts, setting up your own zip lines, and launching yourself from personal jump pads or jump pads built into the arena. Additionally, the arenas feature destructive environments, so the landscapes can change drastically. Zip lines and ladders can be destroyed, and you can charge through basically anything, from floors, to windows, to walls, and other things, like enemies. And that'll do it for Traversal. Now let's talk about the different character classes where you can choose between three different classes, light, medium, and heavy, with each having stereotypical attributes like heavies being slow and tanky, lights being fast but have low health, and mediums being between the two. Each class has unique gadgets and abilities, like light classes have a breaching charge to easily blow up structures and a grappling hook to traverse the environment quickly. Medium classes have a defibrillator so that they can revive their teammates immediately and they have a device that heals their teammates. And heavy classes can throw up shields to block incoming bullets 
can use rocket launchers to eliminate enemies, but more likely to destroy the environment. And along with these gadgets and abilities, each class will have their own specific weapon, which we'll get into now as we talk about the combat, where you can use primary weapons like pistols, submachine guns, assault rifles, light machine guns, shotguns, snipers, grenade launchers, melee weapons like swords and sledgehammers, and a flamethrower. Use gadgets like different types of grenades, mines, C4, and barricades, along with abilities like evasive dashing, going invisible, and shooting goo everywhere. Additionally, you have telekinetic powers that let you pick up items to throw, like explosives, poison gas, smoke, fire, and goo. And one last thing to note about the combat is that, with all the mentioned weapons, gadgets, and abilities, you'll have unlimited ammo and uses, however they'll need to be recharged or reloaded. But that'll do it for combat. Now, regarding customization, specifically cosmetics, you can change the look of your character or weapons if you spend money or buy the battle pass. Because without spending money, you won't have many options. And while some cosmetics can be earned, there aren't many. So you'll most likely be looking pretty bland. And now some of your favorite times playing the finals will be when you can get stuck in goo, get invaded by aliens, avoid a meteor shower, experience low gravity, get blasted by orbital lasers for standing still. Watch your teammate try to revive you by picking up your revivable token, but instead they pick up a barrel that's about to explode. And finally, watch your teammate score a buzzer beater to keep you in the game. All right, now that you have a good idea of what this game is and what you can do in it, let's talk about if I think this game is a must play for you. Well, if you like unique, competitive first-person shooters, but you're aware that this is a free-to-play game, so you might feel pressured to spend money and buy the battle pass, or risk looking like poverty. You understand that you won't have a secondary weapon, so you'll need to have a gadget or an ability ready to use just in case. You're also aware that in each match, there will either be a team of medium classes who all use shotguns, defibs, and turrets, along with light classes who go invisible and melt you with either their pistols or swords. You enjoy regular updates from the dev team introducing new changes, and you like all the creative gameplay mechanics, such as being able to revive your teammates by moving their revivable token, destroying buildings or structures with explosives, navigating the arenas with varied traversal options, and all the fun ways in which you can eliminate enemies using a combination of your weapons, gadgets, and special abilities. And finally, you can appreciate how this game was made. With the developers having backgrounds working on the Battlefield games and Mirror's Edge, they prototyped an FPS, which ended up being so fun that they made this game a priority over working on their other announced project, Arc Raider. Then, I think you'd agree with me when I say, Yes! Great game! All right, now with everything shown in this video, I wanna know, will you be playing the finals? Or maybe you already have been. Or maybe you need to learn about what you can do in another game like Spider-Man 2.